I'm Ulla Wolf Tasker and I'm the executive chef of the Lake House in Dalesford. I've been cooking professionally as a chef for over 30 years. The style of food here at Lake House, we really don't want to be like anyone else. It's never just about the dish. If I know where the food's come from, then that makes for something special. Ella, without giving away what the dish is, how technical is it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's, it's, it's challenging. <laughs> and your time management is going to be critical to the outcome. There's no question about that. All right, should we put them out of their misery? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for it? So the dish we're doing today, or you're doing today, is... Rivers and Lakes, a signature lake house dish. This is so up your alley. Looks beautiful. There's fish and fish and fish and fish, and none of that is my forte. I'm in trouble. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks spectacular. I explain the idea of rivers and lakes. So you start off with a carpaccio underneath of smoked eel, two cured fish, which is the trout and the Murray cod. We've got a smoked fish consomme or a jelly, and we've got fresh yabbies. What's that? A little crunchy... Fish, we call it fish crackling. It's actually the freshwater trout skin, dehydrated and then deep fried. I've added some watercress puree and also some foraged wild fennel on the plate. Quite simple, really. <laughs> what do you think, George? Oh, look, Sean, what's your reaction? There's so much technique there. Like, I'm just thinking about all the different ways you've prepared that seafood. I'm just getting hot and cold flushes. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Nick, how are you feeling? I'm petrified. I don't cook with seafood. That's something I've always said, as I'm not, you know, not very familiar with it, so I'm... You're not a fish person? No, so I'm really scared, actually. Today, you're going to make love to the fish. <laughs> yeah, because there's, there's a lot of fish there, yeah. Nick. Yeah, there is. Do you yeah. want a taste? Yeah. 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 It's oh, beautiful. Wow. It looks amazing. Right, Ella, what's the pressure points? Uh, well, there's quite a few in this dish. No kidding. Um, obviously, the clarification of the consomme, because if you stuff it up, basically, that's it. Mm. Wow. It's amazing flavour in the consomme. Yeah. Curing of the Murray cod, that's going to take a little while because it's a thicker fillet than the, um, the trout. Little capers are nice in there as well. And also drying out the trout skin um, in order for it to crackle nicely. I don't even like fish and it's beautiful. It's so it's, it's... Oh, well, that's a compliment. Yeah. That right. consomme yeah. has got so yeah. much flavour. That's a compliment. I just want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> that's good. It's amazing. It's just really a beautiful, beautiful dish. My heart sinks. Looking at the plating, it's so obvious that there's stuff on that plate that I have no idea how to make. I love this type of cooking. There's just so many intense flavours on the plate. It's beautiful and, yeah, I'm excited to do it. Well, it's a challenge. <laughs> It and is a challenge. That's what you're here like for. That. Nick? Well, it's definitely not a cake, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited because it's, it's real, real fine dining. It's got a lot of finesse. I'm actually excited to give that a go because it's not something I've really cooked before. Right, Nick, Sarah, Sean, you can step back in line. Good luck, guys. Thank you. This is a pressure test. At the end of today, the reality is someone's going home. You have two hours. <laughs> wow. <sighs> It ain't that long, trust me. No, I've got to so agree. You have two hours to reproduce that beautiful dish, and everything you need, ingredients and the recipe, are at your benches. You ready? Yes. I don't want the time to start. Full of energy? Yes. I want Gary to keep on talking. Inspired by Ella Wolf Tasker. Just keep on talking. Just don't let it start. Because as soon as it starts, I have to work out how to do it, which I don't think I can do. Your time starts. So the first thing I do is start reading the recipe. I've never made anything even close to this. Not even a skerrick close. I think everything floods you at the same time. You know, what if you go home? What if you make a fool of yourself? Jesus Christ. Everything starts to go black at this stage. <laughs> everything starts... And it's just my heart beating in my chest. 
It's not the easiest recipe in the world. <laughs> The thing about today's challenge is not only so many techniques, but also so much equipment that I've never used before. There's so much stuff under my bench. There's heaps. You've got this, Nick. This is like top-notch fine dining. Sarah, just your tag on your underwear. Pink undies. <laughs> Can you see my pink undies? <laughs> This is a crazy recipe. There's so many different elements, techniques, flavours to balance. I've never done anything this complicated on a plate before, but this is the style of cooking that I want to be doing. Looking good, Sarah. Thanks. For me, my biggest pressure point is just, um, yeah, getting every element done. So a lot to do in two hours, though, so it's <laughs> um, a bit stressful. First thing I notice is how methodical and how clean Sarah is being. Just blasting through the fish. She's done two before anyone else has even done one. Guys, 15 minutes down already. Far oh, yes. 15 minutes? Like, where the hell has that already gone? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit nervous. You really need to chop chop with that fish. You heard it. Crack on, guys, otherwise you're not going to finish. <laughs> Come chop, on. Chop chop. I'm thinking, crap. You know, I'm still only on my first fish, which is the cod. Keep going, Nikki. Come on, pick it up, babe. I know I need to motor because if I spend too long filleting, I won't put up a dish. This fish is killing me. Sean's probably overthinking things. He tends to overthink things a lot and tries to be very meticulous about what he does, so I don't think Sean's hitting his time marks, no. Um, he should have had his fish done. Oh, come on. Think about what was on the plate, think about what you're presenting, pick the best bit of fish. Move on with the next process. This is not the way you're supposed to start a pressure test, especially when it's a mammoth challenge like what we've been dealt today. Right, you lot, you need to understand if you don't hurry up, you're not going to get it done, OK? You're spending too long on the fish prep, too long reading the recipe. Come on, Nick. You know what you're doing, mate. You need to push them, because they're not going to finish. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. For what I can see, I mean, Sarah's the only one with anything cooking at the moment. I still think she's just keeping up, and the other guys are still messing around with fish. So if they don't get a move on, they're going to be in trouble. Oh, shit. I finished filleting both my cod and trout. <laughs> oh, my God. You're all right. Next, I cure them with salt, sugar, lemon zest, then dill. So I just cling wrap down. Put half the salt on, and then trout, and then half the salt wrap, and in the fridge. Yeah. The trout skin needs to dehydrate in the oven. It's so important because it adds the crispy texture to this dish. Next, I need to start my fish stock for the jelly consomme. I need to add my fish bones, my aromatics, vegetables, and also my yabby shells. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Maybe just chop the head of the eel and throw it in the stock. Oh, the eel. Is that going to go in there as well? Yeah, extra flavour. For my smoked eel, the offcuts go into my stock and I freeze the fillets, ready to be sliced later. Like, wrap it really tightly and now freeze so that you can slice it. I have some concerns for Sean. So far, he's the only person that hasn't been in an elimination. It's an extreme amount of pressure and, you know, he's not reacting well to it. He needs to laugh a little bit. He needs to laugh a little bit. I'm thinking a while to fill the fish because actually, I've never filleted fish before, so that's a bit, um... A bit scary. I grew up inland country, so I, there's no fresh coastal line where you can get fresh fish or anything like that. So it's just n not been something I've, I've ever had too much access to. It actually looks pretty good now. <laughs> my parents separated when I was about two, so my mum and my nan brought me up from a very young age. <laughs> nan, I'm messy. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll She's a really close friend, also like a second parent. She's like this whole amalgamation of different things, and that's why she is so special to me. I want to do her <laughs> proud. I want to succeed and I want to achieve because I know that's what she wants. 